Beautiful Aries, this is Tammy with Spot on Psychic Readings. Welcome to your weekly reading, and Chippy's here to help me tonight. <laughs> Sparky's over here too. Let's see if he comes. Oh, he's coming in now. Come, on, come around this way, Sparky. Come on. Come say hi to Aries. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> so hope you guys are doing great, and we're going to dive right into your reading, Aries, and see what's coming for you. Uh, thank you so much for your support of my channel. You guys are amazing, by the way. Thanks for all your subscriptions and your super chat thanks and all of your amazing comments. I appreciate you guys more than you know, really. So let's see what's coming. It's been a weird week. Moon eclipse, all the stuff going on. I don't know about you, but the energy for me has been very, very intense. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Watch out for impersonators on my channel. If you see some weird comment about investments or a bunch of names or something like that, if it looks like it's coming from me, it's not. <laughs> YouTube's aware of it. Anyway, just wanted to mention it. So let's see, there's a lot of, uh, I've got a lot of goosebump energy here for you, Aries. <laughs> I'm curious to see what's coming. And I am pulling these by feel for you tonight. So let's see what's on your horizon and what you don't see coming oh look at this four of wands okay Aries good so I'll see what this says and then we'll dive into some clarification and get you more details too okay all right so let's flip these over and see what we've got and yes I always flip them like that sometimes people question me about how I read cards I've been reading cards since um, like 1981 <laughs> so I'm pretty much used to it okay so <laughs> your first um, card that's here Aries what's most significant is you might be dealing with this Queen of Swords this week okay Queen of Swords is somebody who is very focused on what they want very intelligent this could be representing your energy this week, Aries. We'll have to clarify and find out where this goes, but I feel like you are in this situation right now and this energy, this feeling right now where you're like, that is not working for me and I am not doing that anymore. <laughs> cutting it out, okay? That's what Queen of Swords says. We'll see what you're cutting out as we go along. Your, um, your crossing card this week is money. I feel like you're... Maybe start some of you struggling with money. Maybe some of you have had some sort of a money loss and it's creating a challenge for you at this time. Again, we'll clarify and see where this is going. Yeah, because the next thing up is hanging on to money and also feel like you're hanging on a cliff <laughs> to some degree. So we've got this card of nine of ones and four of pentacles having to do with holding back, holding on to money, holding on. Um, in general. So I, I do feel some money stress for some of you Aries this week. But again, we're just, we're only four cards in. So let's see what else is coming up. Okay. Um, look at this. Now we've got King of Swords reversed. And this is going into your past. So this is interesting. This could have been a couple situation here, Aries. This could be um, you and this could be the person you were dealing with because they do tend to be counterparts. Okay. The King of Swords reversed is not a nice character. This can often be a narcissist. This can be somebody who's a classic narcissist slash sociopath. And King of Swords reversed, somebody very manipulative, very ruthless, um, really tries to get what they want, and somebody who would just cut you off at the knees. But so would she if she needed to. Now she showed up upright, so she's in the more fair-minded sort of energy. And this is going into your past, so I feel like this is somebody that you've dealt with or have been dealing with, or maybe currently, and it's getting ready to. You'll be done with them, okay? I hope, because it's, it's a really nasty character, okay? Now, in your immediate future, um, what I'm seeing is, I this is Four of Cups, and I see you going, what do I want to do next? <laughs> like, Aries is sort of like, okay, um, I've, I've done all this, this, and this. What am I going to put in the fourth? cup at this time and I feel like coming up in your immediate future there are question marks I, I feel like some of you are like okay do I want to do this or do that or um, should I move forward on that I feel like there's a lot of options um, but also you know you're pinching pennies some of you with this five of pentacles card and you're cutting out things that don't want so you are narrowing down your options really quickly 
I also see uh, slow steady progress coming in um, Aries and when I look at this Knight of Pentacles for you this is more extended feature going up into probably the end of the month um, this is really having to do with you making progress and you're gonna you may not be seeing the progress yet you still may be making some decisions and things like that with this four of cups but then further on out you've made the decision and you are making progress and your money is probably improving by this time by the end of the month although it might not be improving as fast as you want it to but it is improving okay I think a lot of you are gonna see that playing out like I wish this would hurry up <laughs> I wish this would go a little faster but it is progress okay now this is how other people may be seeing you at this time is this page of cups they may be seeing you as um, having this young vital energy about you you could be the younger person in a relationship of some sort and somebody may be seeing you as just playful and fun and like Aries is like in spite of everything Aries is just being really super positive and kind of just wanting to have fun you know this can be childlike wonder this can also be you sending somebody a fun message um, you know that makes somebody laugh like something humorous or um, you know something like hey you want to go on a fun date you know read between the lines things like that okay and when I go in over here to um, this chariot reverse, now this is your hopes and fears. And I think you're afraid some pathway forward is like you're off path. But this is only hopes and fears, okay? And again, the chariot is a very successful card, but it came up reversed for you, Aries. Like you're really afraid you're not reaching your success at this time. But that is hopes and fears, obviously not hope. But this is in the fears position, not your final outcome. Your final outcome is the Hierophant reversed. And this is you questioning beliefs. This is having to do with you um, going to, you know, is that still applicable to my situation? Okay, at this time. This can also be a marriage gone upside down for some of you, potentially with this person, this nasty King of Swords energy. Is that, is that what it is, Chippy? Sometimes Chippy adds into readings. Um, and this could be making you feel like you're off your path and you're not receiving success. But also, if you've gotten out of a situation with him, you might just be feeling super happy and playful, <laughs> okay, at this time, like some kind of weighty thing has lifted off of you. So let's do some clarification. Um, I didn't go to this one. This is your uh, final, I mean, not your final outcome, but this is your card of <laughs> what you don't see coming. And this is having to do with, again, a marriage that's potentially upside down. Maybe you pulled up roots on something that, um, like a house contract or a living situation or something really rooted, and you've pulled up those roots, and now you're just feeling like this, like the Page of Cups, <laughs> okay? Let's do some clarification here, Aries, and see what we've got. Why are you feeling like this um, Queen of Swords at this time and this energy of being very much in control? And, and also this guy reversed that I said, he's a real control freak. So I feel like too, when I look at these two in this way, this is going into your past, um, this King of Swords reversed. I feel like you've taken back power. You've taken back your control. I feel like now you're the person in control. And flip these if you need to. This could be, you know, the other way around. Your queen of swords is going into the past and you're the king of swords. So take it as it resonates. I just read the cards as they come up and it's up to you to, you know, adjust the meanings to, you know, especially in a collective reading. It's up to you to adjust that to what fits your situation, okay? Because not every card's gonna fit every person perfectly every single time. You know that. <laughs> you all been here enough, you know that. And I'm glad to have you back. If you're a return viewer, welcome again. <laughs> Thanks for being here. You guys have been so supportive of my channel. So what is this Queen of Swords? Wow, there's two cards that popped out to clarify. <laughs> okay, Queen of Swords, which represents your energy right now, very, very happy and on a really happy path. Maybe you've even gone on a vacation to celebrate getting rid of this nasty, mean energy you were involved with, <laughs> okay? And also there's more money coming in. There's some, maybe even a windfall. There may be something big really coming in to help uh, Queen of Swords because again, Queen of Swords energy says, I've cut out what doesn't work. 
I'm only going to deal with people who I like, who I want to deal with. I'm, I'm not going to deal with anything I don't want to deal with anymore. And there's a peace around this person. There's a peace around you at this time. Like, um, you're happier. <laughs> you're just a whole lot happier. Okay, let's clarify. Why is money an issue right now? I feel like money, resources, maybe you're feeling like you've lost money or you're afraid you're going to lose money. Something about a challenge about money uh, this week. Let's see what that's about. Money for Aries. Oh, toxic energy. So let's see what that means. Toxic energy. Okay, so this toxic energy may go to a third party situation you were in and the ending of that, um, probably involving, again, that controlling King of Swords energy. This is a third party situation with this toxic devil energy and it may have caused you a money loss, Aries, okay? I'll look and see where this goes as we go through the rest of it, okay? So I do see you holding on to money. I see you with strength and reserve. I don't think we need to clarify that, but let's clarify who's this King of Swords energy going into your past for most of you. For some of you, you still may be dealing with this person. For some of you, not. Okay. King of Swords. Oh, King of Swords broke your heart, Aries. This controlling energy, this controlling, manipulative, nasty energy I was talking about caused you a separate, you're separating from this person <clears throat> and it really caused you quite a heartache, a lot of pain. Could have even caused you health problems, you know, and you know, emotional things can often turn into physical things. It's a King of Cups. Let me see what they mean by that. Getting your wish. Oh. Okay, because you cut this person out, here's your Ace of Swords. Because you cut this person out, I feel like you're getting something better. And it's like you're getting your wish. Um, some of you, your wish was to get rid of this energy, to get rid of this person or that relationship that was causing you so much pain. So I feel like that has separated. You may still be in the separation phase of this at this time, but you got your wish. You're getting wish fulfillment. And I feel like there's somebody new for some of you coming in. There's a couple of things. I, I'm just hearing some things here going on. Um, for some of you, you met somebody new who's very trustworthy. For some of you, um, you thought this person was trustworthy. They masqueraded as the King of Cups and really they were the King of Swords. Um, for some of you, I feel like maybe you're seeing a counselor who's really helping you see the light on this more than you ever did okay because sometimes king of cups can be a counselor or a friend who's a good listener you know that sort of thing really good person here we'll see what else we'll see what else but i feel like it came up because of this something really good is coming out of the separation for you if you haven't seen it coming yet you will you will definitely Let's go over here and see why this uh, Four of Cups is um, here. Four of Cups is having to do with, <laughs> I'm sorry, Sparky keeps sniffing around my cords and I was afraid he was going to knock something over. So Four of Cups is all about what do I want to put in the Fourth Cup? What do I want now? The question marks that I saw earlier. What is that about? And that's in your immediate future because I think you will get some clarification, like I said earlier. I feel like you're getting your wish and I feel like you're, you're, you're getting healing that King of Cups to clarify earlier, the first, the next, the first card I pulled a second ago is definitely having to do with somebody who's healing for you. Okay. It could be a doctor, it could be, like I said, a counselor, a friend who's very healing. I feel like a lot of healing and now you're like, it's brought up a lot of questions. I get a lot of questions with this, um, with this page of cups, I mean, four of cups. And I said Page of Cups because I'm seeing this over here, this Page of Cups energy. So there's something there about the, um, almost like you're going, f I hope I'm explaining this right, Aries. There's so much information coming through on this, this, the King of Cups that I put back in the deck for clarification in this. 
And I feel like this was a couple. There's been a, a separation, a lot of disagreements, a lot of heartache. This has put you in a happier energy and maybe um, happier with children as well. Maybe you've got custody or something like that. There's something there about children, young, vitality, happiness, a lot of happiness, and you getting your wish and going from that swords energy, which is all up in the head, to cups energy, which is having to do with heart energy, okay? So hopefully that <clears throat> that explained that. I, I see this whole shift in your energy and it's a lot happier. It's a whole lot happier. Because you had to go through this situation of where you were, I mean, not the situation, but you had to go through that flow of um, change of energy of being very intellectual and in your head and thinking things through and cutting out things that don't work. And now I'm coming back around to your warmth and your heart energy and that fiery Aries passion and you know, um, I, you know, some of you were, here's what I'm hearing, this is not an expression I use, but here's what I'm hearing is some of you were, quote, kicked in the, in the teeth. Wow, I almost tripped on that with my words. I almost couldn't even say it because I felt kicked in the teeth. Wow, Aries. I mean, that's what it felt like for some of you. That's so awful. Wow. Okay. You know, things come through in my readings. Here we go. Let's clarify your slow, steady progress and the question marks, okay? Because this is coming up in your immediate future with all this situation. I was going to make this a really quick reading, and it's just getting, like, super involved, like Aries readings often do. And they're just giving me so many details, so I want to tell you all of what's going on here. Whoa. They're still talking about this person. Okay, I'm trying to ask about your future. They're still talking to me about this person, this very controlling narcissistic energy. This person was very sneaky, was giving you nightmares, keeping you awake at night in some way. Uh, lots of different ways that person could be keeping you awake at night, worries, uh, making noise, um, you know, like turning lights on intentionally to wake you up playing the TV too loud. I'm hearing all of this, like this person was really nasty to you. Gaslighting you all the time. You know, what do you mean you can't sleep? I mean, it's only like 12 o'clock. <laughs> you know, it's things like that, like that were really, seemed like they were nothing, but they were huge. Okay, that's what I'm getting from this very, very controlling person keeping you awake. And this person was fooling around. I get this, um, and not being honest, here's the, um, um, night, sorry, the Knight of Cups reversed, which is they were telling you one thing, doing another. Very untrustworthy kind of energy. So that in itself is keeping you awake at night. Let's try to clarify your future now. <laughs> this person's trying to hijack your reading like they tried to hijack your life, Aries. I mean, I see, I see this a lot. This happens. The energies are just um, on people like that are so strong and so invasive that they'll permeate people's readings, you know, and it's doing it right now. So clear them out. All right, your future <laughs> had a big effect on you. Um, okay, we've got Queen of Cups reverse. This is somebody very emotional a lot of times. Sometimes somebody with addictions with this Queen of Cups reversed, you might be dealing with somebody like that. Again, there's a cloud of the silver lining. There's something really good coming out of this, but I feel like there've been harsh words. I do get harsh, harsh words that came up, arguments and things like that, having to do with this person. This could be, for some of you, this could represent some aspect of you, but I think it's more um, representing like the other woman for some of you. And this is somebody addictive, somebody tricky, somebody demanding, frivolous, all kinds of stuff. Very um, deceitful, you know, with this Queen of Cups reverse. Somebody very manipulative and alluring. Like they can bring people into their trap, <laughs> you know? And I feel like a lot of this is what happened and they twisted this controlling person into a more controlling person. And I almost feel like these two teamed up against you, Aries. Now this is not gonna be everybody's story, obviously. But it's a pretty strong vision I'm getting here. 
this is this is somebody's story and I'm already feeling the comments that you guys are going to make like I'm tell, I'm telling your story right now because this is so clear to me they won't let me stop talking about it I can't seem to get more details on your future because they keep bringing this up because this is part of your future it, it formed part of where you're going now and you had no control over that but you have taken your power back so um Again, I'm gonna to try to clear that out. They won't let they won't let up on it because again, those two people now there's two <laughs> are trying to hijack you and your reading and your life and your energy. So be sure to do clearing Aries, okay? Well, here it is again, the harsh words. This is Ace of Swords reverse. Now it did cause a cloud cloud with a silver lining, but also, you know, when that's reversed, that somebody used too much force kicked in the teeth like I said earlier yeah okay so I'm trying to clarify slow steady progress king of pentacles and here it came up again all right so you are making progress but it is step by step baby steps it may feel like less than baby steps at this time but you are making progress forward Aries okay <clears throat> let's <clears throat> excuse me Let's ask about this <clears throat> page of cups. When something gets in my throat like that, it's usually this negative energy um, trying to keep me from talking about this. As soon as I said, <clears throat> there it is again. As soon as I said, you're making slow, steady progress, <clears throat> it got me. There's no accidents in readings. There's just not. <clears throat> Okay, Page of Cups. Um, Page of Cups is somebody, you know, a message. Th well, this is representing your energy. So you may have sent somebody the playful message and that sort of thing. But I feel like um, it's, there's some, some issue with this being, not from you, but somebody being not trustworthy. I, I feel like somebody might be playing you. And hold on a second, Aries, yeah. Here's your King of Cups again. Be careful who you are trusting at this time because this time the King of Cups came up reversed along with this untrustworthy love offer of the Knight of Cups. So they're seeing you, some of you, not everybody here, but they're seeing some of you as a younger, um, more vulnerable sort of person. You need to be really careful, Aries. Because that's how, this is views of others. This is how other people are seeing you. Maybe they're seeing you as immature, childish, or um, easy to manipulate, or something like that. So just be careful. I can't imagine they would see Aries like that, first of all. So they're underestimating you right off the bat. But do be careful, because that's a trickster. That's a trickster energy. And again, somebody's trying to hijack your reading. And it could be Queen of Cups. All right? For some of you she came up earlier the other part of this is I'm trying to clarify your energy somebody is seeing you as very alluring Queen of Cups upright okay so Queen of Cups upright is somebody very heart-centered and I said that earlier you're going from this more intellectual um, all up in your head because you had to be cutting things out energy who's sort of cold and not real emotional to this Queen of Cups and more playful and happy so again there's double meanings here so take it as it resonates um, for you Aries okay all right let's go over to I know you're worried you're off track and you're not you're on track so I'm not going to clarify that let's ask about the Hierophant reverse that's the one I said that's your final outcome that's the one I said um, could be you examining your beliefs like what do I believe about the situation what do I really think what do I know um, what do I know about maybe a marriage? Okay, this can be um, the upside down marriage card. And there was another one too, which is this Four of Wands energy. What does Aries need to know about the Hierophant? Had to do with money. Definitely, um, that's Ten of Pentacles. It had to do with somebody was really focused on money and lifestyle stability things like that here she is again 
Queen of Cups. I really do feel like um, this Queen of Cups for a lot of you is the quote other woman. And I feel like this person cut in on your marriage, but I'm also feeling like I also feel like your partner, Aries, was this King of Swords who was also not a good person. I think you were you were teamed up on by this these two. And maybe more. Friends of Queen of Cups too. I feel like you were piled up on, you know? Tackled and piled on. That's what I'm getting, Aries, for a lot of you. Okay. But here you go. I feel like Deep down, <laughs> your wish was to get rid of this nasty person all along. So you might feel betrayed, but at the same time, you didn't still want to be with this person, keeping you awake at night and all these things. You got your wish. Ultimately, in the midst of all this mess, <laughs> you got your wish, Aries. And I, I would say you were definitely wishing to be away from this situation, even if it cost you financial stability, even if it cost you a lot of heartache and sleepless nights, okay? Yeah, and look at this. You've gotten your wish because you've persevered. <laughs> you've kept going. Seven of Wands, you've kept going in, this, in spite of adversity. And I would say great, great adversity, Aries. So there's the situation. Let's get final words for Aries. What does Aries need to know? I know I have just told somebody's story here because um, this was very clear details very very detailed wow here it is again there were harsh words no doubt about it somebody used way too much force um, to get out of the situation Aries and I would say it was this person here I didn't mention zodiac signs with some of these um, but th these can these air signs come up with the swords okay so this could have been you know Aquarius Gemini Libra not for everybody or could that could be in their chart um, but it I was just hearing to tell you that final words for Aries <laughs> you're coming into your really happy Empress energy so you're gonna be the one in charge Aries that's what this is saying I feel like you're gonna bring new things to fruition with you know this Empress card and again, both of these representing you, Aries, these are feminine cards that came up. So I feel like for a lot of you, you know, um, that's your situation. And this male energy is what's going into the past that caused a lot of problems. Now, I'm not trying to throw you guys under the bus. For some of you, it is reversed. But I feel like for a larger majority, this happened to women in this reading, okay? And I am reading for everybody in this reading, so take it as it resonates. But you know, here's the cards. You can see them for yourself. And the cards are pretty clear about that sort of thing. So you're coming into your um, in charge kind of energy and feeling more creative, probably, Aries. You're on your way to that and bringing something beautiful into fruition, okay, at this time. Sometimes the Empress is a mother, sometimes um, a business owner. Um, she usually loves nature, pets. Um, just enjoys her good life you know that kind of thing so that's where you're headed Aries that is your overview okay and what you need to know so thanks for coming in it's always wonderful to connect with all of you Aries so take care and I'll talk to you again soon okay bye now